Do you often ask yourself, am I trading at the right time? Or could my strategy use a time sensitive makeover? If yes, you're not alone. Hi friends, in today's tutorial, we will find answers to these questions and learn about CFD and Forex market sessions. Now, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you never miss out on our Forex trading lessons and insights. All right, let's get into it. Let's start with the CFD market hours. The Forex market is truly global, operating 24 hours a day, five days a week. This continuous cycle is made possible by the interconnectedness of major financial centers around the world. As the sun never sets on the Forex market, opportunities are plentiful at any given moment. The Forex market is divided into four main sessions, Sydney, Tokyo, London, and New York. Each session has its distinct personality, influenced by the financial centers dominating the market at that time. Let's take a closer look. Before that, here's a fun fact. Despite Sydney being the name of the first Forex session, the trading day really starts every weekday in New Zealand. Moving ahead, first up, we have the Sydney session. The Sydney session marking the beginning and the end is indeed the smallest and least liquid player in the global market. Its focus? Primarily the Australian and New Zealand markets, adding a Pacific touch to the trading. Let's talk currency pairs. The main currency pairs traded in this session are AUD-USD, NZD-USD, and AUD-NZD. Now here's the interesting part. The Sydney session is usually quiet and stable with low volatility and spreads. However, it can also be affected by economic news and events from Australia and New Zealand, such as interest rate decisions, GDP reports, trade balance, etc. Before moving ahead, here's a quick question for you. What do CFD traders and night owls have in common? They both thrive during the market's late hours. Next is the Tokyo session. The Tokyo session, the second trading session to open, is the largest in Asia. Its focus extends beyond the vibrant streets of Tokyo to encompass influential markets like China, Hong Kong, and Singapore. Now let's talk currency pairs. The main currency pairs traded in this session are USD JPY, EUR JPY, GBP JPY, and AUD JPY. The Tokyo session is also relatively calm and steady with low volatility and spreads. However, it can also be influenced by economic news and events from Japan and Asia, such as monetary policy, inflation, industrial production, etc. Third is the London session. The London session ranking as the third to open holds the prestigious title of being the largest trading session globally. Its influence spans across European and some African markets, including Germany, France, Italy, the UK, and South Africa. The main currency pairs traded in this session are EUR-USD, GBP-USD, USD-CHF, and EUR-GBP. The London session is the most active and volatile session with high liquidity and spreads. It is also the most important session for CFD and Forex trading as it sets the tone and direction for the rest of the day. However, amidst the excitement, it's crucial to stay informed. Economic news and events from Europe and the UK, such as Brexit developments, ECB decisions, and PMI reports can significantly impact the market dynamics during this session. Up next, can you tell why the Forex trader applied for a job at Big Ben? He heard they have the best ticks in the business. <laughs> well, moving on, the fourth session is the New York session. The New York session, the last to open, but certainly not the least, it claims its spot as the second largest trading session worldwide, casting its influence over American and some Canadian markets, including the USA, Canada, Mexico, and Brazil. The main currency pairs traded in this session are USD, CAD, EUR, USD, GBP, USD, and USD, JPY. The New York session is also very active and volatile with high liquidity and spreads. It is also the most influential session for CFD and Forex trading as it reflects the sentiment and expectations of the global market. But don't forget, 
economic news and events from the USA and Canada, like Fed decisions, NFP reports, and CPI data, can send ripples through this otherwise bustling session. New York sessions are so fast-paced, if you blink, you might miss a currency's entire emotional breakdown. It's like watching a soap opera on fast forward. Now that we've gone through the sessions, let's address the golden question. When is the best time and worst to trade in Forex? The best time to trade in Forex is when your horoscope says, expect financial gains. The worst time when it says, today's lucky number is bankruptcy. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Coming back to the tutorial, let's start with the best time to trade. The sweet spot where the market is most active and liquid. It's the overlap of the London and New York sessions. During this window, trading volume and volatility reach their peaks, offering a plethora of trading opportunities and ensuring optimal order execution. The London and New York sessions dominate, accounting for over half of the daily trading volume. Meanwhile, the Sydney and Tokyo sessions, while crucial, are comparatively less active. Now let's talk about the worst time to trade. It's when the market is least active and liquid, the tail end of the Sydney session and the kickoff of the Tokyo session. During this period, trading volume and volatility hit the lowest points, presenting more risks and challenges for traders. Moving on, let's discuss something really important, a couple of crucial factors to consider when you're trading CFD. First up, we have pairs and strategies. The pairs you choose depend on the market session and your strategy. For instance, during the Asian session, JPY pairs might be your go-to as they react more to news and events from Japan and Asia. In the European or American session, focus on EUR or USD pairs for responsiveness to news from Europe or the USA. Second is choosing a trusted broker. Your choice of a broking partner matters. Trading conditions like spreads, commissions, and swaps can vary with the market session and the broker. Some may offer lower spreads during London and New York sessions, but higher during Sydney and Tokyo. Be mindful of the different commissions or swaps for holding positions overnight or over the weekend. Well, there you have it, a thorough understanding of CFD and Forex market hours. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. See you in the next video.